Thomas in 1974. She was murdered near the Manuet Mall. Peter Vronsky is extensively communicating with a serial killer. So are two women who lost relatives to Richard Cottingham's brutality. They read an email the killer sent in February this year. She was a white girl in her teens. I kind of remember her putting up a good fight. Cottingham, who was a married dad working at Blue Cross Blue Shield Insurance before his 1980 arrest, doesn't remember names, but he's relied on Vronsky's sleuthing to look up a cold case that might match. Malls are often a killing ground for um, Cottingham. The killer confessed last year that he picked up two New Jersey teens on their way to Garden State Plaza, also in 1974, before torturing and drowning them. His DNA was tied in June to the 1968 murder of a young mom at Greenacres Mall in Valley Stream. This week, we introduced you to the two women trying to get Cottingham to confess more crimes. It's believed he could have bludgeoned or strangled a hundred women. I really felt alone growing up knowing my mother was killed. No one else around me had a mother who was killed. For the first time, Weiss released photos that showed Cottingham giving her the details of what he did to her mother and a friend in 1979 in a Times Square hotel. How Richard put my mother's severed head in a police and then buried it. Weiss said she's upset law enforcement isn't giving her credit for pushing Cottingham to make multiple confessions. Sonia Ruiz McGraw, who lost her grandmother to the killer, said she also established a rapport with Cottingham by sending him photos of herself with her Doberman Pinscher. Richard happens to actually really love animals. Um, that may sound funny. I think it definitely helped. The victim's granddaughter said Rockland County investigators promised she could hear Cottingham's confession in person. But a police source asked us, quote, what legitimate law enforcement agency ever allows a victim's family member to sit in on a confession? It's just not done. One way Cottingham did benefit from talking, he received special food packages in prison over the years when he cooperated with investigators. Does it bother you as a daughter of a victim? It does not. Finding out who he killed means more. Police in Nassau County have kicked their cold case investigations into high gear after they tied Cottingham to that 1968 rape and murder at the Green Acres Mall. We know that more than five cases there had DNA samples submitted to a national database. Tamsin and Corey.